So Labor Day weekend, we got in the car, and we drove, and drove, and drove, and drove, and then we stopped for a few hours in Germantown, Maryland, for a sports ball game. What kind of sports ball? The only kind that matters. Women's football. Or soccer. Whatever. Unless you're a fan, you probably haven't heard of the Washington Spirit or the Seattle Rain. And maybe you haven't heard of Crystal Dunn or Megan Rapinoe or Hope Solo. You don't know Hope Solo? Are you from space? But earlier this summer, you probably heard about the Women's World Cup. Or as I like to call it, the World Cup. Maybe you heard how the turf was plastic or that it was held in America's hat, Canada. And maybe you watched a game or two and maybe you heard that the U.S. Women's National Team won. We won. We freaking won! And you might remember in 2012 that the U.S. team won gold at the Olympics. In fact, almost all the best players in the world play for the National Women's Soccer League here in the U.S. Do you remember Anger from the World Cup, the German goalie who crushed France's dreams in penalties? FIFA World Player of the Year 2013? She plays for the Portland Thorns, along with Canadian Christine Sinclair. But for some reason, you're not going to see them playing on TV anytime soon. Probably not even on cable unless you get Fox Sports 1 or 2. And not just because there's only one game left. I read an article this summer that got me mad. So freaking mad. It said that the reason women's sports aren't treated seriously or even covered at all by the media is because women won't put their money where their mouths are. Sure, they'll watch the World Cup, but they won't buy the tickets and go to the games and be counted. But this is dead wrong. The game I went to had over 5,000 attendees. The stadium only holds 4,000. We literally didn't fit, but sat in the grass or on the stairs, and you know who I saw? Women little girls, and occasionally a dad or a husband. Women are supporting women's sports. We're buying the tickets and shouting the chants. We're screaming for our teams and they're still not listening. The little girl in the stands next to me didn't care if Seattle Ring could compete against a Division I men's team. She didn't care what her favorite player made compared to a man at the top of his league. She didn't care if the turf was plastic or if the stadiums were too small or if the game was on TV or if it's only streamed online. She just wanted to watch her hero play. She just wanted to see Hope Solo. I mean, she really wanted to see Hope Solo. She screamed, like, the whole game. So I'll add my voice to hers, and maybe all 5,000 of us will make a difference. Hi, it's So Not That Cool. If you're interested in all at women's soccer, the final for the National Women's Soccer League is actually going to be this Thursday, October 1st at 9.30 Eastern. And I'm going to be live tweeting, so if you want to follow me at at So Not That Cool, I'll tweet out a link to a live stream if there's one available in case you don't have Fox Sports 1 or 2. I don't remember which one it's on. Or if you have any cable provider at all, pretty much, you can sign into Fox Sports Go and watch a live stream there. My team, the Seattle Rain, is going to be facing off against the Kansas City Football Club. So you're going to see some gold medal winners out there, and I'm pretty excited. So to recap, Thursday night, 9.30 Eastern, follow at So Not That Cool if you want to follow my live stream. All right, see you Sunday. My team, the Seattle Rain, is going to be facing off against the Kentucky Fried Chicken. (laughs) 